Let's talk about cheatgrass. In this video, we'll talk about what it is, how to ID it, why we should even care about it, and how to prevent the spread. Cheatgrass is known as an invasive annual grass. Let's break that down a little. Invasive means not native to Wyoming or the United States. It was brought here in the 1800s from Europe and Asia. Annual means that the grass sprouts from new seeds every year in the springtime. In the fall, the grass cures out and drops its seeds. These seeds are very durable and stay in the soil for some time. They can even resist fire. Make sure that you can positively ID cheatgrass. In the springtime, it looks green or even reddish or purple on a hillside, but in the fall, it dries out and turns brown. Let's take a closer look at the seeds. They stick to your shoes and socks or even your pet's hair, hitchhiking to new places and spreading. Hi, I'm Shelby Wiegand with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. I'm the Habitat Biologist Technician here at the Lander office. And now that you've learned a little bit about what an invasive species is and how to ID cheatgrass, let's talk about why we should care. Cheatgrass, as you know, is an invasive species that kind of creates a monoculture over more native species. This means that they overtake an area and more native species can't come back in and repopulate. The nutritional value of the forage there decreases, making it hard for mule deer or moose or any other wildlife species to come in and get food. In addition to that, soil health greatly decreases and the area becomes a greater fire hazard. You can prevent the spread by becoming a citizen scientist and telling your friends and family whenever you see it by using the ID tips that you've learned today. Let's learn about how to prevent the spread even more. When you're out recreating, identify when you're walking through cheatgrass and follow these few tips to reduce the spread.